Yeah, yeah. Go and play that. Take you down, I'ma say that. Money, me a couple dollars. Telling you now, this payback. Huh, so I swear take that. Ask them now, we'll say that. I've been going to the top and I got what they not, so I know that they hate that. Uh, but I'm on now. Alright, everybody, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be cracking back into the top quarter of the top 100 NFL players of 2019. It's the top quarter, we're at number 24, Luke Keekley, linebacker for the Panthers. From what I'm led to believe, he's a leader, he's an enforcer. He's done a number of little interview parts, a number of little you know, um, cameos, as they say, on the countdown. I've been really looking forward to seeing his play. Uh, for whatever reason, he looked as if he's dyed his hair. <laughs> I don't know if he's going grey in his mid-twenties, or he's ginger and he doesn't like it. But it looks as if he's dyed his hair dark. I'm not sure if that's the case. It might just be me. With that being said, let's crack into it. The quicker you're here. The faster you go, that's why where I come from, the only thing we know is Blue Keekly, okay, I'd like you, if you could, break down that play for us. Play that play. Oh, I know this. This was a blitz, actually. Uh, weak side pressure. Okay, so who was that guy? He's a safety for the Panthers, right? Oh, I know. Mike Adams. This, this was a blitz, actually. Uh, weak side pressure. With myself, and I'm coming down. On the end, I see Jason Peters, so I tried to duck and use my speed to get around him, but Luke Keekly, he moved to the side. He knows he has one gap, and once the running back was wide, Luke Keekly shot his gap, and when the quarterback pulled it full pass, easy sack. That's it. Easy money. What it is, is Keekly is such a student of the game. No, is this guy a running back? He moved to the side. He knows he has one gap, and once the running back was wide, where is this Mike Adams? I'm coming down on the end. I see Jason Peters, so I tried to duck and use my speed to get around him. But Luke Keekly, he moved to the side. He knows he has one gap, and once the running back was wide, Luke Keekly shot his gap. And when the quarterback pulled it for a pass, easy sack. That's it. Easy money. Oh my god, I cannot get this. What the fuck? Right. Okay, so Adams is there. And Luke Keekley is the Luke Keekley is the middle linebacker. He's a safety coming down. Okay. Alright. So he thinks that the running back's gonna get it. He's he's coming in to try and stop the running back, although the running back doesn't get it, the quarterback keeps it. But Luke Keekley recognizes that and comes through and blitzes. I see Jason Peters, so I tried to duck and use my speed to get around him, but Luke Keekly, he moved to the side. He knows he has one gap. And once the running back was wide, Luke Keekly shot his gap. And when the quarterback pulled it for a pass, easy sack. That's it. Easy money. What it is is Keekly is such a student of the game that he knows the Eagles offense as well as the Eagles. I actually helped him assist him on that sack. You had a lot to do with it. Absolutely. So he's, look, Luke Keekley's coming down the middle. This fella's coming to the side. Wentz has the option of giving the handoff, right? But he sees him, so he doesn't. Luke Keekley already knows that this guy's around the outside. So he, he, look at it. Keekley and Adams have basically contained this thing as well as you're ever going to contain it. And regardless of whether the running back got it or not, it's finished. Although, what could Wentz have done now? He's just scanned the field. He's just looked in front of him. Luke Keekley's coming thundering down on him. Um, oh, what are we going to do? What are we going to do, guys? What are we going to do? There's not much he can do, really, is there? Okay, so that was all about 
How Adams helped Keekly get one of his sacks. Okay. Bruh. You've just halved your score last year. What are you doing? It's this time. Doubled, sir. 100? Yes. Well, he should be number one this year. The way he breaks things down, the way he sees things, and his film study is like no other. I think there's been two other Panthers, correct me if I'm wrong, but there was Cam Newton, there was Christian McCaffrey, and now there's Luke Keekley. I'm just trying to think if there was any linemen or anything. There probably was, but I, I can't recall. Out of nowhere, was able to beat the offensive line and trying to block him. In our huddle. <laughs> no, Luke Kigley, that man is, I don't know how he does it. It's amazing. You break the huddle and he comes down and he's like, watch the screen. And I'm like, what? <laughs> the, uh, running back lines up. If he's left and he's a little bit too wide, oh, he's coming back this way. It's this way. It's a belly. Trap, trap, trap. Wow. Wow, that's pretty amazing. That's, I'd say that's the linebacker version of Peyton Manning, right? Every play. That's what he always does. He's always calling out our plays. He didn't play pre snap. He actually told his nipple, be ready. He saw 41 sneaking in a box. So Keekly goes and, and watches a whole lot of film on the other team the, the week previous to playing them and pretty much learns the playbook before the game and then can, can just see how they're setting up because he's got so much football knowledge. That's fucking incredible. I'd love to watch Keekly do some film work. Sit down and watch some film and see what he says. That would be very, very interesting. I think I've probably learned more in two minutes with Luke Keekley than I have so far in my whole entire journey. Drop left. Bouncing it to the right, but Luke Keekley's all over it. Wow. <laughs> I'm like, man, how in the world did you know they were going to at least 60%? Uh, he's going to call it, but he's going to tell you where you're going to go. Uh, even if you check, he, he knows the checks. Oh, I think James is giving me a little bit of, little bit of credit. Bro, he reminds me of Tom Brady now for some reason. <laughs> he does. He fucking looks like him too. We get a good feel for pre-snap. Sounds like him too. That scene, that scene's not over. And it's not over like we thought. For a guy to study formations, know what plays you're running out of that formation, see that process in. He's pretty good at guessing. This will be the wildcat on third down and one. Yeah, there's some lucky guessing in there. Seen it before, and more times than not, when they put a, a wildcat guy in there, and that down a distance, you're thinking about it. No, he hasn't dyed his hair. Or maybe he has. You have a look. That's what I'm still looking at, man. No, it looks pretty dark there. Looks pretty dark there. Can't see it there. Looks pretty dark there. He's either... <laughs> no, he hasn't died as yet. I don't know why exactly I thought that, but... Anyways, that was Luke Keekley. The captain of the defense for the Panthers. What an absolute legend. It's going to be fantastic to see him continue his career. In fact, before we do go, I'll... um. Just have a quick look, how many seasons he's been in the league. April 20th, 91, he's 28, 6 foot 3, 240 pounds, went the ninth pick in the first round of the 2012 draft. He's been at the Carolina Panthers ever since. He's made six Pro Bowls in a row from 13 to 18. He's made five first team All-Pro, missing out in 16. And in that year, he made the second team All-Pro. 
He's got three times Butkus Awards, which are for the top linebackers at the high school, collegiate, and professional levels. So he, he, he won it. He won the best professional linebacker of the year in 14, 15, 17. Defensive player of the year in 13. Defensive rookie of the year in 12. This is amazing. 2012. This is six, seven, eight years. No, six years before I even watched my first game. He's had nearly a thousand tackles in his career, but only 12 and a half sacks. That's interesting. What was his stats like last year? 16 games, 130 total tackles, 93 solo, two sacks. We saw one of them. And uh, he's played 102 games. He's probably going to be a 200 game, 200 game man. Maybe even a 300 game man. But he is a linebacker. He's not a quarterback. So he's going to, definitely going to take a bit more damage, isn't he? Or give it. Anyways. That was my look at Luke Keekley. Been looking forward to it for a while. I've seen him on the list a hell of a lot. So he's obviously a, a player that people respect his opinion. And um, he's just switched on, man. He's just switched on. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next one for number 23 on the list. Odell Beckham Jr. Can't wait. If you've liked this video, guys, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe, please do. See you back here shortly. In fact, if you've made it to the end of this one, I'm actually going to roll up a joint and smoke before this next one. Why the fuck not?